Congratulations on Burning Man the Musical. Thank you. How Thank you. are the two of you to be to have worked on this? Max, I'll start with you. Um, I'm very excited. I uh I honestly like I can't believe this show, this movie musical. I don't know. Like I um I'm really excited to be a part of it. I was really happy to like work, get out of the house to be with theater people doing a that that was something that was really exciting for me was like these are theater people doing a movie musical because you know no shade but like sometimes they like don't get theater people to do those and so it can you know just elevate material uh hugely and i think that's what this cast and these people did and i think this is so weird and i'm so happy to be a part of it <laughs> tally for you working on burning man uh, it was fantastic. Uh, I mean, it, it, what a gift to to be able to work. Yeah. Period. But to be able to work uh, in person, and and they really, really, really um, looked out for us in terms of safety. We were constantly tested in our time shooting up there. But just to be around artists, and again, I I, I strive very hard to be inclusive, and I'm not qualifying but like artists of all kinds not just in front of the camera behind the camera the people that they were yeah. getting things ready set decorators like it takes it truly takes a village and to have that community uh, go back to your earlier question that again is the thing that i missed more than anything and it's as true on a film set uh as, as probably more true in the theater but because we had theater people it felt uh very communal we were uh you know we were also under the gun you know to get this film shot in in three weeks um and the other thing is just like blown away at the level of uh, invention and 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 creativity and open heartedness that uh, that people have in an effort to create something um I uh, I will tell you like I, Max I think uh, you know, we had one tiny little scene together but after seeing the trailer cut uh, and I was already a fan of, of Max's talent I was like I can't wait to see what the hell this lunatic did in this film because it's just from the trailer, I haven't seen the cut of the film yet. I was like, oh man, this it's going to be uh, wild it's, and fantastic. Yeah, I, it's it's definitely meant, thank you for saying that. It's, def, it's <laughs> definitely meant, I think, to be, you know, watched, if I can say this, on drugs. <laughs> that could meant, be caffeine, that could be anything. Yes, that's sure. right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's meant to be celebrated in that way, I believe. And, yeah, there's another, I will say, uh, I, I really um, respected the level of collaboration from the creators as well. Uh, Max, I'm sure maybe you can speak to this as well. We were given a fair amount of freedom to improvise and try to uh, uh, more deeply uh, root the, the, the scenes, I think. Um, yeah. Well, it's uh, definitely, uh, it's like I said, like getting theater people is so we are able to just sort of make i believe things truthful in a in a weird setting which is oh, my hand sick but like this is just the hijinks in this film and the weird scenarios are all done i mean from what i experienced filming it very truthfully and very honestly and so i'm just i can't even i haven't seen it either so i don't, I don't know what it's going to be but i know that it's going to be a crazy musical richard that's what i know <laughs> okay I, I said the same thing from the trailer max who do you play i play a character named chad who is a polyamorous um camp goer um and chad is just a misguided soul you know he loves everybody he wants to be a part of everything and in every social circle and he sort of goes through a transformation um, in the movie via like doing ayahuasca. So there's like a whole sort of that. And that's really all I know. I, I, I only know my scenes. So I don't know even what happens. I Who do you play, Tally? I'm just you, did, you, didn't, you didn't read the screenplay. If it <laughs> yeah, no, I pressed mute when we did all the Zoom rehearsals. I really just, you know, I didn't want to, I didn't want to be tainted. <laughs> <laughs> Tally, who do you play? Uh, I play the villain of the piece, uh, Bill the Billionaire, uh, sort of a takeoff on um, uh, a, a sort of a Trumpian Elon Musk kind of a tech investor who wants to 
um, and wants to and strives to appropriate uh, the Burning Man um, community uh, for the one percenters. Uh, he wants to commercialize it, and um, uh, it's about how he. Well, the, the film is not about. But it's, it's he tries to use uh, our protagonist uh, to uh, and manipulate her into helping him do that. Um, it must have been so great to be a part of a brand new musical mm -hmm. that was filmed. Yeah, I, it was. I, I mean, it really was. It was really weird because, you know, we recorded the whole album inside of hotel rooms because we were all holed up in a hotel doing, you know, COVID tests every other day and stuff. And so we would go, you would learn a song in the day and then record it in the hotel room. And then they would have the playback for you when you were filming. And now they're sort of remastering and doing all that stuff. So that was all just very quick. It was if you'd ever done like a 24 hour reading or like a, a musical like that, like a week long, it feels it, it very much had the energy of that. Like we just sort of put one of those up real quick in its final sort of stages, which was really kind of exciting, but also so weird, you know, real quick. Like, that's it. That's it. Now people can watch that forever. Yeah. And there's a lot of trust involved because uh, even though they did involve theater people, uh, the film is an editor's medium. So we, I'm sure that Max did, but I know that I just kind of threw stuff at the wall as many takes right. as possible and they're going to choose what they can choose. And so there's, you have to trust that that's going to um, <laughs> come out well on the other end. But I will say I had a blast doing it. I was, I, I had, I was again, felt so fortunate to be working but I didn't know once I saw the first cut of the trailer and I don't even know it's, it's the trailer that was, we were sent like sort of a, a longer version and it, but I was like, this thing looks yeah. great. great. I, I, I mean, I had no idea the kind of effects they were going to do the jump cuts, the editing you, you don't know. Uh, and because you're in it and you're not watching yourself, which you shouldn't be, but it's, it, I got really excited and I, yeah. and I, a couple of friends, actually several friends that have seen it. They're like, what the hell is this badass uh, weird thing? You're that like, you're what, is this? Yeah, what is this? What is this? It looks really cool. Um, and you trust that it is? 